Hey friends, welcome back. In this session, we will understand how do we design an ALU. I am going to design an arithmetic and logic unit which is going to do the operations addition, subtraction and and or. Both are uh, logical and bitwise. I am going to do this operation. And this ALU is going to perform all these operations with the given input and the input will be 2 bits. It is going to be 2 bit input and there will be options available for us to go ahead with addition, subtraction, uh, a 2 bit, I mean uh, bitwise R and bitwise AND. All these are going to be done and I am going to write a test bench very clearly for it and I will explain you how exactly we can go ahead with the design of a 2 bit ALU easily with very long. Okay. What is an ALU all about? An ALU is going to do math and computation. How many bit ALU are we taking? We are taking 2 bit ALU. So let's go ahead and construct a module first. This is a normal file ALU.v which means this is the module file where we are laying the template. We are constructing the ALU here and we are not giving the inputs here. We are just constructing the ALU and we are architecting it actually. So the inputs and the testing will happen rigorously from the test bench and the test bench will act on the uh, design that we have created here in this module. I am going to create a design and the design will be tested with the test bench a little later and we will have to wait for it. Let's first explain step by step how exactly this module is designed, this ALU is designed. Right, I have a module called ALU and I have got input A, B and most importantly I have got option and y is the output. I am going to get the y as the output. I am going to pass a and b as the input. I will have an option and I will have y as the output. Right. a, b are nothing but the inputs. a, b are very clearly to be specified as inputs and it is very easy to understand. Now what is this? This input 1 is to 0 op. What is this? This op is nothing but the option which can be 0 is to 1 which says that it is a 2 bit vector. So it can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and this OP is nothing but the option which is connected here. It's just like the switch case, right? It can be Y equal to A plus B, Y equal to A minus B, Y equal to A and B, Y equal to A R B. So the option is 2 bit vector and that is done here and that is achieved here through the presentation here. You can see that Y equal to A plus B expressions are presented here, Y equal to A R B. So this option is just like what we use in switch case in C programming. That's all. Now this option will take us through all these and we will get the result for A plus B, A minus B, A and B, A, R, B. Right. Now what is the output here? The output is nothing but Y. So we have made it Y. Now what is this ridge Y? In this case we need a ridge Y because the output is going to be stored in the register Y. I am going to collect the output in a register. I am going to make the result stored in the register. Remember, I told you this already. Whenever we have a result to be stored, I need to use a register and the final result is going to be available with us in form of register. So I use the register Y and the result will be made available into this register through a wire and we will see that a little later in the test page. I am going to get the computation done. The computation will be, the result will be stored in the register and I make the declaration right here and get it ready here for me to test it in the test bench. So register Y is mandatory here. So I am going to get the results stored in the register. Now always block I have explained to you in the previous session always at A, R, B, R, O, P. Whenever there is a change with A, R, B, R, O, P, any of these inputs, there should be immediately this block which should be coming into the processing. So what will happen? I will get into this. I will start the case and I will compute it and the case will be end. You can see that here it is like if loop. I start the case here, I end the case here. I begin the module here, I end it here. I mean I begin this part here and I end it here. I start the module here and I end it here. That is it. So now it is a very simple, simple setup where we have created a module for ALU with three inputs A, B and O, P. Y is the output. The output has to be registered with REGY because I need to store the result. I use the always block whenever there is a change in any of these or all of this I will have to go ahead and compute this and I will get the result stored. Now what is the test bench sir? I need to write an appropriate test bench right? Yes it is very important too. We are going to create a test bench as usual the module name should be ALU underscore TB. It was ALU there now it is ALU underscore TB. Now you can see that REGT underscore A REGT underscore B. This is important for us to understand. Option again is set as register. You can see that I am taking the input TA, TB, TOP 
and the output is sent via this wire to the register. The output is sent via this wire to the register Y. That is what is made available in the previous code. You can see that here I have got register Y here. So I am going to use this all very clearly here to get my final construction done. Now, what do we need? Very simple. We are going to go ahead with creating an instance for this ALU. That is the module there. You can see that dot op corresponds to t underscore op dot a corresponds to t underscore a dot b t underscore b and dot y t underscore y which means we connect o with o t underscore op a with t underscore a b with t underscore b and y with t underscore y now we get in into initial and we begin it we are going to monitor t a t b and t y whenever there is a change we will get a printer now what do we do we are going to get the values fed in the first value is for A it is 0, for B it is 0 and you can see that the option is 0, 0. 20 seconds delay, 20 nanoseconds delay. Now similarly I go with the next one, 0, 1 and 0, 0. You can see that 1, 0, 0, 0. All these are very easily to be done. Now see that all these four, the first four are having 0, 0 because 0, 0 is going to represent A plus B. Now, whenever I get an input, it can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. I will do the addition first. Now, what is the next case? I need to go ahead and search here. 0, 1 is corresponding to y equal to a minus b. So, what will you do? I will go here. Input is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. But you can see here, it is 0, 1 here. The option is set as 0, 1. So, for 0, 1, what is the option? You can see that it is a minus b. The a minus b is performed right now. Similarly, I'll go ahead with 1, 0. I'll go ahead with 1, 1. The 1, 0 corresponds to, you can see that here from the main file, 1, 0 corresponds to A and B. 1, 1 corresponds to A, R, B. That's all. Your code is all done. I end it and I end the module. So, we pass each and every input and it goes through all the four modules and all the four operations. That is the addition, subtraction, and, and, or, and you get the result. So, we will get, we, we are going to get how many results we are going to get? We will get results for each of this because we are passing it through everything. Can we go ahead and run it? I am going to run it to show you how exactly we will get the output and it's very easy to run as well. Let us clear the screen here. I am already in the path. So, let's first compile it. I very log hyphen o. The name of the executable file is alu. What is the first file name? alu.v. Next file name? alu underscore tv.v. I have compiled it. There is no error thankfully. So, vvp uh, AL use the name of the executable file. I ran it. You can see that here. What was the first operation? First operation was addition. 0, 0 gives you 0, 0, 1 gives you 1, 1, 0 gives you 1, 1, 1 gives you 0, carry goes 1. We didn't handle it. Next one is subtraction 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is bitwise and bitwise R. That's all. We have done it. It's easy, right? So go ahead and try it in your machine. If you have any queries, let me know. I'll be able to help you. Uh, if you like the content of the channel, please give a thumbs up. I'll be happy to see that. And reach me out through the comment section for any queries regarding this. Thank you.